Hey guys, my name is Homero Santos. And I'm Katie. And we are going to talk about Rogue One. That's not what this is. That's mm -hmm. not, that's not, no. Not people know. of Earth, but <laughs> Rogue One. What is this? Brought to you by Nat Coca-Cola. <laughs> you want to get out of here? Our rebellion is all that remains to push back the Empire. It appears he is critical to the development of a super weapon. If my father built this thing, we need to find him. They are requesting a call sign. It's, um, Rogue. Rogue One. <laughs> We just watched the movie, and after months and months of just thinking what the hell this thing's going to be about, even though we know a lot of the basic plot points, it was pretty good, I have to say. It's directed by Gareth Edwards, the guy who directed the latest and greatest, or not so greatest, Godzilla movie. And it's a lot, it's a lot like that film, so if you, if you dug that, that movie, you're going to be right at home. I think it's basically his, his, uh, his pattern, you know, a slow burn, and then the last third act yeah. you know it really ramps up and goes crazy um but i don't mind i don't mind a slow movie i hated godzilla i'll tell you that much uh, so i, I didn't i had just ten... the latest that that one that came out by him yeah yeah I, I was not a fan of that film so i had tempered expectations when it came to this but mm -hmm. uh i mean i was surprised it was it was pretty good the writing was pretty solid and um a ton of action which is nice. Shot beautifully. Oh, the oh, best yes. looking. It was very, it was oh, very cinematic, yeah. and the the unbelievable graphics. I won't spoil anything for you guys, but like the faces on these people yeah. are amazing. Like way better than the Civil War thing with Tony Stark kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, there's that kind of stuff going down, and it's a very direct tie to A New Hope. Yes, um, to the. Back I mean, to the beginning. I mean, again. Again, right. So <laughs> To the beginning again. <laughs> which which I think kind of sucks. But mm. that's just me. I, I wasn't a big fan of the old films, so I don't have that tie. But they were good. I mean, they're fine. They're, they're good films, sure. But um, this one, I feel like it's miles better. Uh, like with The Force Awakens, I thought that was miles better. Um, but... It's funny because, like, this, just the way it's shot, it's so fucking pretty. It really, yeah. really is. It's very pretty. Yeah. Um, but story-wise, it follows Jin Erso, uh, daughter of this guy. Um, I have no idea how I, to pronounce his I name. Can't, I can't. It's very similar. It took me a while to figure out her name was Jin. I thought she, everyone was calling her Chin. Like, <laughs> Chin on your face. No, no. Jin. Jin. But... Regardless, uh, Mads Mickelson, I think is his way he uh, pronounced his name, it's her father, and uh, he's the guy that, you know, basically made the Death Star, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it goes into the story about, you know, his internal struggle of not helping them and, you know, uh, basically getting out of that life and then all of a sudden being thrown back in. This is all in the beginning, so no spoilers, but regardless... Uh, it, it moves on from there. And this is where one of my big problems with the movie is, is we don't really get too much of a, of a backstory or any, develop, any, any kind of yeah. real development. On any character. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. personally for me, for this movie, it feels like it's a filler. Like, they were going to, they're going to make the next one, the next one that's actually, like, with the same people the and Force stuff. Awakens too. Yeah, whatever that's <laughs> going to be. And they were like, hey, we need to tide people over until we get to that movie ready. And it, it's a really, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a cool movie. And knowing now that it's like a, like a short little look into this world. Yeah. It's like it just wasn't what I was expecting. Me neither. I didn't. Mm. I didn't know what to expect, but I agree. It kind of feels like the film was. Uh, to your point, you mentioned this when we got out of the movie was a short story, mm -hmm. and this short story, you know, they filled out uh, a good almost two hours, and they threw a ton of money in it, and they and they and they did yeah. the movie, which is great. I I like the film. It's really good. But like any good, any good movie, you should question it and look at its flaws yeah. and what's like, one of its flaws it's in its writing unfortunately. Yeah. yeah like with Godzilla the the one that he originally did I felt like during that movie it was hard to pick out not a direct villain or anything I'd say but like you know 
something to go like we to attach to. Yeah, something to yeah. like feel and and you could feel it from the old characters with like Darth and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was hard. It was hard with these new characters and it was hard to get attached to them. Right. You know. Even though to be honest, by the end I was I was in it, you know. So it's it, even though it is a slow burn, it's a slow movie. Mm -hmm. It's really really good. Yeah. And so like yeah. there's there is a good bit of exposition, but it's exposition that you really need to you really yeah, need to pay attention but, to regardless. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going down. But I wish we had I wish it was more about her father's story than her. Yeah, that because you know? that was such an interesting look into this like business world right. of this empire. Right. And right. then with Darth coming in and it brings in this whole other feeling like, oh, you think you're important. You wait until you meet me kind of thing. Right, right. He's in there and James Earl Jones reprises his role as Darth Vader, which I, I enjoy it. I dig it. You know, it kind of mm -hmm. looks like he was in the suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the guy is fucking huge. Mm -hmm. I don't remember Darth Vader being. He's big guy. Yeah. Like they were. But, he was like a what? Like a wrestler or like a? He was a European person in like, the original. Like look, really big guy. It looks like a big fucking dude. Yeah. Regardless, though, it's a ton of fun and it's mm -hmm. dark. Very dark compared to the compared yeah. to the other films. Uh, it's a standalone movie. There will and not be yeah. a sequel to Rogue no, One. No, but. <laughs> It was a great look at, like, I enjoyed the new, um, nin the ninja -y kind of guy. Uh, Donnie Yen's character. Because he really, in the movie, you can get it in the trailers, too. Right. He, admi he, like, admires the Force, right. in a way. And it was, like, a cool way of looking at it from... The, that different perspective? Uh, yeah, a dreamer guy. That, yeah. That's what they call him, and you can tell from the film. Minor spoilers. Um, he's, yeah. it's very minor, but... This is again goes back to the writing. Is like he he wa he wants to be a Jedi. He's a blind dude, and I kind of wanted that for him, you know. And there's a lot of opportunities that I feel like they missed in the movie. Yeah. Like with his backstory, his character. I like the the I idea. I just wanted more screen time for him because he a was lot really of, cool. A lot of the characters like the, you want yeah, more. Yeah, want more screen time for each one of them. But it's a, it's a ton to understand. pack in. Yeah, and it's a it's a certain amount of time that you have. Yeah. You got to cover a, a whole like length of time itself, and right. so many people are expecting so many different things. And <laughs> right, right. But there, I mean, again, we could we can go on and on yeah. about its yeah. flaws. But honestly, it is it's, a good it's film. It's good, yeah. I it's definitely, good. I it's, definitely recommend what like going to pay IMAX watching it. I I, I want to see yeah. it again. It will tie you over. Like I said, it's yeah. one, it's a yeah. movie meant to tie you over, and it will give you that like that satisfaction until you get to hey, Mister, get off of there. You get to the new movie. Mr. Kitty, everyone. <laughs> he wanted to go watch the movie, but we didn't let him because we know he would get too scared. <laughs> he always does. He always does. But regardless, I mean, I think it's a, it's a pretty damn fine film. Mm -hmm. um, Gareth Edwards, you know, my favorite of his movies so far. So far. And I fucking hated Godzilla. I, I cannot tell you how much I fucking hated that movie. But this one, a good redemption not great, but damn good. Um, mm -hmm. Very supported by his cast, knockout cast. All of them did a great job. Forrest Whitaker, um, yeah, Mads Mikkelsen. I hope I'm saying his name right. Such a badass actor. But I wish, again, he was the protagonist. Because mm -hmm. they go into this... Um, you know, everyone makes jokes about the damn Death Star. Oh, let's make this big planet destroyer and give this... And Luke Skywalker can, you know, basically throw a, a shoot in there and it'll explode. What a stupid weakness. Well, they kind of go into why that weakness was there in the first place, and it's pretty obvious now. But I wanted to know more about that story. I wanted to know more about him and yeah. his whole thing. Like, I wish they had a fucking TV show just about the I him. I know, I know. But and yeah. his struggles. You, if you haven't noticed, we, we watched a lot of the Clone Wars, like the, the TV the TV one. And, and they go a lot in yeah. depth about everything. And everyone. I wanted to see that in that. I wanted to, that to dive in that much into his role in the beginning. Like, like when when it was just the small little, yeah. it, it wasn't even Empire yet. Right, right. I mean, they, it was his dream, man. His dream to like create, create not a death destroying Death Star, but he he was an inventor. It's I mean, hard. To, I, get, I got that a little bit, yeah. but it's still so hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. Like, why he left. 
um, well, it's obvious, but I want to know why. I want to know, like, the moments, you yeah. know, and the moment that he got caught and the moment that all the moments leading up to what happens in the movie, there's a lot of stuff that I wish I got into, um, but they, again, it's it's a two-hour film, and they can only do so much, but um, what what they what, what they did and what mm. they had to accomplish, they did a badass job. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, they did. Um, good. Yeah. Not great, but... In the, um, maybe in between, maybe in between. It's a good Star Wars movie. Yeah. It's a it's yeah. a good Star Wars. It movie. It could have gone better than yeah. the originals. Yeah, it could have gone all really really bad, and I'm yeah. I'm just glad that I left satisfied. Yeah, yeah. That's so a good go thing. watch it. We're gonna watch it again, and I'm sure it's better the second time yeah. around. It's always better maybe, when you see it the second. Because I felt the same way about the Force Awakens. Good, but not great. And, and now then you I'm watch like, it the second time, and, and they're like, like oh wait, yeah. <laughs> great. So you know, take it what. Take, mm -hmm. take that however you want it with a grain of salt. Um, so, but I would go in there expecting this, you know, and then get happy with what you get. You mm -hmm. know, you, I, I wouldn't overhype it. It's really, really good, but um, regardless, I think that's about enough. Anything else you want to add? Oh, I'm good. Uh, oh, and I got this really cool hat. They've, they sold it over there. And it's pretty badass. And it's got the little stars or uh, ships. Uh, both for the rebellion and for the empire, and mm -hmm. it's hard to tell, but I'm telling you, this yeah, is. Yeah, it's got the words on the back. Yeah, yeah, the rebellion begins. Yeah. Regardless, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. I love the movie. Mm -hmm. I'll buy it and I'll watch it again in IMAX. Yeah, I want to see it again, just for just for the dissection of it. Now now that we watched it, we know what to expect. It's time to go back in and fucking just tear it just frizz and see why everything is the way it is mm -hmm. what do you think sounds like a plan all right well thank you so much for watching our review on rogue one we hope that we given you a little bit of insight and to make a decision whether or not to go watch it wait for it to be uh out on digital to buy it or rent it and we at least i recommend go watching it in imax 3d are you guys planning on watching it i mean let us know in the comments in the things below yeah. And if you want us to see us do different movies, always like leave us a comment or a message. Yeah, otherwise you can just expect us to review all the, the no, big the films. The stuff that we, like, we want to review. <laughs> yeah, so the next thing will be Martin Scorsese's film coming out around Christmas, so be watching for that. Mm -hmm. Liam Neeson, I think Andrew Garfield, and the guy who's the bad guy in Force Awakens, Adam Driver. I remembered his name at the last Adam moment. Adam Driver. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. And we're out. Do we shoot guns every time? Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. All right. This is America. We, we, can, <laughs> we can do that. You're rebels, aren't you?